it's me Noelle and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Noelle and I make a bunch of different kind of videos, vlog videos, craft videos, singing video, original song cover videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super cute gift. I know that's pretty vague, let me explain. Personally, my favorite kind of gift to receive are those that are handmade and personalized. Those that you could really tell that the person thought about you when they were making it. There's so much personal touch into it. Just, I, I swoon over those. those. Those just really get my heartstrings going. But what I love more than receiving those kinds of gifts are giving those kinds of gifts and making those kinds of gifts. For those of you who don't know, I am in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend, Reuven. Ever since we've been doing long distance, which has been about a year now, I think, we've been lucky enough to have seen each other every couple of months. Either I go to him or he goes to me. And guys, tomorrow he's coming to me. We haven't seen each other in like almost three months now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry, you, you didn't click on this video to hear about my love story, but you did click on this video to get a gift idea, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do. This gift idea is super inexpensive and really not that hard to do at all. So the basis of this gift, what makes it so cute, is this, guys. A box. The premise is you just fill it with a bunch of cute things and like write the person a card and put some fairy lights in there. Shabang! You got the perfect gift. And this gift is 100,000% personalized. Obviously you don't have to do anything I do in this video if you don't want to, but think about what your person likes, their favorite snacks, candies, activities you like to do together and just throw it in there. It's, it's like super personalized. I don't know how else to explain it. So yes, Ruben, if you're watching this in the future, um, I hope you liked it. <laughs> I'll try to film his reaction, guys. Hopefully he likes it. I mean, wouldn't it be funny? He's like, what is this? Is it trash? Just kidding. It's not trash. It's from my heart. All right, guys, I'm going to actually make it now. Hope you enjoy. The materials you'll need for this project are markers, glue, acrylic paint, twine, optionally glitter or sequins, hot glue gun and hot glue sticks, paint brushes, scissors, paper or cardstock, twinkle lights, tissue paper, your boo things, favorite snacks, and of course, a box. The first thing you want to do is prep your box by removing any stickers or labels on it. Once you do this, lay down a piece of newspaper so you don't get paint all over the place. And I'm using these really beautiful acrylic paints from Target in the colors lilac, aqua, and purple. And this part is totally up to you and your creativity. Paint the box however you would like it. I kind of went for a gradient kind of sunsetty effect here. You could do whatever you want, whatever color scheme you think looks best. Just keep the person in mind as always. This project taught me that blending with acrylic paint is definitely a struggle, but this is what my box ended up looking like and I was pretty happy with the gradient effect. Here I am attempting to paint clouds um, since I'm kind of doing a sky background and I am pretty proud of these clouds, guys. They ended up looking pretty nice. This aqua color is actually shimmery, so it added a cool effect. I'm basically taking the paintbrush and making a stippling movement to create that soft, feathery look of clouds. For this part, I'm creating a label for the front of the box. I'm writing for my honeybee because that's what I call Ruben. I know it's corny. <laughs> of course, you can write or do whatever you want for the front of the box. You can even write directly on the top of the box. But since I was going with like a cloud sky theme, I decided to make a separate label and kind of use tear art to make a cloud for the label, if that makes sense. Sorry, I, 
kind of just talking all over the place right now. <laughs> I just used regular Elmer's glue to glue it right on there. And now we're gonna use these beautiful star little sprinkles to add some pizzazz. I just set out a very thin layer of glue and I sprinkled those little babies on there and boom, they're the cutest sequins ever. I didn't want to leave the bottom of the box looking all ugly like this and I didn't really want to paint it either so I just took a piece of felt. Conveniently I had a purple piece of felt so it matched perfectly. I'm just outlining the bottom of the box to its correct size and using hot glue to glue it on there. Transitioning to the inside of the box, this is where it gets super personal. It's kind of the first thing that this person will see when they open the box. Pictures. Put some of your favorite pictures of you and that person on the top of the box or wherever. How many times am I going to say box in this video? You guys let me know in the comments. <laughs> but anyways, I made a little collage on the front. So right when Ruben opens it, he sees our pictures. After making that nice background, we're gonna create a banner that can say whatever message you want. The first thing you wanna do is take your twine or string and measure out the length across the box. Here I am cutting out little triangles out of cardstock to be the banner. I recommend using thicker paper for this part. Cut as many triangles as you need. whatever shape and fold a little tiny bit at the top of it this is where you're going to hang them on the string make sure you cut off the excess paper on the ends so that when you fold it over you don't see it now I'm just taking the piece of twine I cut out and taping it I have this little place on my desk it's super convenient it was like the perfect spot for it um you could just tape it on the edge of a table or a desk and hot glue the pieces of paper onto the string in the correct order of course because <laughs> you want it to read correctly I'm basically just applying hot glue to the paper on the little flap and then putting it on the string and then quickly closing it I did burn myself a couple times so please guys be careful when you do this part I marked exactly where I wanted to poke the hole and I ended up not poking the hole at that spot so just ignore that little dot <laughs> I just use a push pin to make that hole and since twine is pretty thick I use the push pin to make the hole bigger once it's through to the other side just make a knot to secure it there you go a beautiful banner that they will read right when they open the box it's super cute now moving on i wanted to utilize every part of the box as possible for this top part here i'm making a little envelope where i can slip a letter into it this is super simple i just cut out construction paper folded it in half and i glued the sides so that when i folded it over the note wouldn't slip through the sides And I'm just making it a little cuter with these glitter heart stickers. Just glue the back of that and stick it on and write a really heartfelt sentimental note to your boo or your friend or your mom, whoever you're giving this to. I also ended up writing open me on the top so that Ruben would know to actually open it because you can't really tell it's an envelope at first glance. Okay guys, we are officially done with the box. Now we can move on to filling the box. I just lined the inside with tissue paper and my roommate Emily got me these super cute twinkling fairy lights and they're perfect because they're powered by a battery so you don't need to plug them in or anything. I just taped the fairy lights all around the edges of the box and then I just hid the battery pack underneath the tissue paper. Now I'm gonna give you guys a couple of ideas other than candy and food to put inside this box. The first is a food spinner. Um, I don't really have a better name for it. Ruben and I have a really hard time <laughs> deciding where to eat a lot of the time. It's really simple. All you need is cardstock. Basically, you just cut a circle, cut a little arrow out, and write some of your guys' favorite restaurants or food places on each section. Thank you. 
You're also gonna need these paper fasteners. These you can find at Walmart or Target and you're just gonna stick it through the arrow and the circular part. This is what makes the arrow actually spin. Pro tip, you really wanna make the holes big for this because that's what will allow it to spin like a regular spinner. The first time I tried this, I made the hole way too small and the arrow wasn't moving at all. The next little craft you can put in this box are coupons, love coupons. Basically, they're exactly what they are, coupons. <laughs> they're coupons, you can write anything you want. For this one I'm writing 10 free kisses, I know, disgusting, throw up emoji, throw up emoji. <laughs> Basically the person that you're giving them to can use them whenever they want or you can put restrictions and expiration dates. It's really up to you, this is like completely personal. Some of the ones I made were a free massage or a free boba, a free homemade meal. After all that hard work, it is finally time to assemble everything and put everything in the box. You're just gonna throw in the snacks, the food, the little crafts you made. Right before you're about to give it to the person, I would turn on the light so when they open it, it's like already twinkling. And there you go guys, a super cute, super personalized, and super affordable gift idea for that special person in your life. And that's it. Can you believe that? That was, that was, I'm proud of myself for that. I am pretty proud of myself. The twinkle lights, a little banner. Cutest thing ever, honey. Cutest thing ever. I'm not trying to hide myself up or anything, but I think Ruben's gonna like that. I think Ruben might even shed a little tear. I hope you guys were able to take something out of this video. I hope I gave you some inspo for your next gift. This works for anyone, not just boyfriends. It could work for your best friend, for your mom, for your sister or brother. If you guys like these kinds of DIY craft gift idea videos, let me know in the comments. I love your feedback. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! No? Aww, she had told you there'd be something. <laughs> Aww, you painted this. Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> this is so cute. Aww. You need to teach people how to do these things. Oh, I made a video. That's what I was doing all day yesterday. Oh, what, 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 what? You need to tell boyfriends and girlfriends to do this. This is brilliant. <laughs> now we don't have to pick where to go anymore. No, right? Perfect. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> They're coupons. Coupons. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.